Hello guys, it's Nim and welcome back to my channel. Today is Sunday and you all know what that means. That means Planet Zoo. Let me just move my microphone a little bit closer towards me because then I feel I'm better to hear. Whatever. So today we are working on our Australian Zoo and this is actually the second to last habitat that we are doing. After that we are doing one more habitat and then we are going to do a zoo tour. And I'm really excited for it because I'm really looking forward to letting you guys see all the ins and outs of this zoo. And obviously, like a lot of the pathways are still empty and we need to fix that and I will do that off camera. And then I will show you guys a completely finished zoo tour. And I'm really excited for it. I'm looking forward to it. I, I can't wait. That's basically it. I just I can't wait. So and after that, like I got some positive response in my last video. So we are going to do the... Um, rainforest zoo unfortunately i'm not quite sure if i'm going to do that on sundays or on friday so after we finish the woodland zoos um, and that basically has one very simple reason which is my work um so yeah for those of you who don't know i'm a primary school teacher and in the netherlands which is where i live and work um the month of november and december are ridiculously packed with holidays um, obviously uh, in Netherlands we don't really celebrate Halloween or like we don't celebrate Halloween we celebrate uh, Sint Maarten on the 11th of November which is basically our Halloween except the kids don't go uh, dressed up from door to door they go door to door with this little lantern that they made at school and then they sing songs and then people give them candy so we have that and then on the 5th of December we have uh, Sinterklaas and that's basically a guy which comes around with his uh, helpers and he gives children toys kind of like santa but different it's not really how to explain and then obviously you also have christmas and we don't really celebrate that with santa i mean some people do but not most of them but it's still like a very busy you know time especially for the kids so i have a lot of work that i need to do there are a lot of meetings a lot of appointments so it's crazy and you know it's just wow so i'm not really sure if i can make like stand up the schedule that I have right now of four videos a day so of a week not a day I don't upload four times a day I upload four times a week at the moment and I'm not sure if I can keep that up so I am probably gonna go to three videos uh, a week and then sometimes maybe a bonus video if I have time which probably will be in like um, the uh, you know Christmas break which is in the end of December so I'm sorry I'm still figuring it out um, let me know if you guys are very upset by that and maybe I can work something out but I'm, I'm afraid I just won't be able to make it and I would hate it for you guys to expect videos and then they would not arrive because I, I can't stand that personally like if I promise something I need to do it that's the kind of person I am it's all you know in my personality so I've, I'd rather play it on safe and then only upload three times a week and then sometimes a bonus video and if you want to know when bonus videos are coming, you can always follow me on Twitter. I don't tweet a lot, but I tweet the important things so you don't get spammed. Also, if you want to have my opinions on new uh, updates of the Sims team or the Planet 2, uh, Twitter is the place to be. I don't have a lot of opinions about it because, you know, it's a game and I don't make the game, I just play it. But if something really bugs me, you will find it out there. I also have a Discord server in which you will get notified um, as well if there are some odd things happening and you will get a notification every time a video goes up. But of course you can just hit the subscribe button and the bell icon if you want to get notified as well. So feel free to do all of that. I also have two Instagram accounts, one personally dedicated to The Sims. So if you are into The Sims as well, you can follow that one. And I have one personal account, which again, I don't really use a lot, but you know, sometimes I post some things. So just follow me there. I'm not the spammy kind of social media person. So don't worry about that. And now after like almost five minutes of talking, we are gonna go into the video. I'm sorry, I'm rambling on. So today um, we are building the ostrich habitat. And I know that the ostrich, same as the crocodiles, aren't really from the Australia Zoo, but I feel like they are like pretty similar and they, you know, they fit into Australia. Like we already have the cassowary, which is kind of related to the emus. And whenever I look at emus, I always think of ostriches. So, and since we don't have emus in the game, we are going with ostriches. And today we're making a habitat for them. Now, this habitat is ridiculously large because they have this entire, you know, space just left there and I didn't know what to put in I was like you know what I'm gonna put a lot of ostriches in there also can you hear my voice 
what's wrong with my voice? What the heck? I'm sorry. <clears throat> That's weird, let me just take a sip of my tea. Okay, it's not better. We're just gonna go for it, and if I, I don't have a voice anymore, I will just transition into music. So, um, obviously, like, we don't have um, any more Australia Zoo animals from the new pack, so we are going over to other animals. And like I said, since we don't have emus in the game, the cosswares are obviously related to emus, we are going with ostriches, because they always remind me of emus as well. And I think they're, like, related in some way, sort of manner as well. So, you know, that's fine. And right now we are... Um, like we did the entire premises, we did the landscaping, we did the terrain paint and now we are making sure that they are actually having, you know, somewhere to sleep and that they're gonna have a roof, which is kind of a big deal and kind of important. So I'm sorry if you can hear the washing machine in the background, it's just done and I've started beeping. I will turn that off after I turn the voiceover, so if you hear something beeping in the background, that's it. Or it could also be the bird that is in front of my window, one or the two. So right now we are just making this lovely habitat and I actually never use this wood or this roof, I believe. And I absolutely love it. I feel like it's so cute. It's, it's, I wanna say it's really Australian, but I've never been to Australia, so I don't really know if it's really Australia. So if I'm offending someone, I'm sorry. <laughs> I don't mean to, I just um, don't really have a lot of knowledge about Australia. So I'm going on what I do know. And if I don't know things, um, I'm guessing. And you'll hear me say, I don't know, so yeah. I don't know about that. Right now we are just putting some uh, enrichment items and making sure that the animals actually have everything. And they actually, um, like the animals already have babies and the tiny babies can actually escape the habitat. But obviously they can't go into the water so they are just a little bit outside of the perimeter. And like I get this um, emergency call like, oh no, an animal escaped. And I'm like, what, where, where did he escape? And then it's just a little ostrich and I'm just like, eh, doesn't really matter. <laughs> So here we are making another food course and um, I didn't want to like show you everything building because you know, I already did it in a Dingo episode and if you didn't see that just go to the playlist down below and it will be in there. So here we are making a food court because the last food court is quite a bit away and you know you do want your guests to be hydrated and fed all the way. And then we are making this giant oasis and I absolutely love it, like really love the way that this turns out. I'm drinking my tea in the meantime to help my voice be, be there still. So right now we're just copy and pasting like over some of the rock work and some of the uh, landscaping just to make sure that it's really cohesive and then it fits together. And also because that rock work took me so long and I'm not gonna do it again. Just plain old honest, honestly there like I'm not doing all of that again like this rock work of this small other pond that took me like almost 30 minutes so if we can copy and paste, I'm just gonna copy and paste. And besides that, like, it really makes the zoo look like it's one whole. And I absolutely love the way that that looks. I also love these bushes. I keep forgetting their name and I can't actually see it. What it's like. I know those are desert tree, but like blood trees, but I don't know, like, the little bushes. But they fit in so perfect on the rocks. Like, it makes it look like they're actually, like, um, plants growing out of the rock. And I absolutely love the way that looks. So here we are making sure that the desert looks deserty in the back as well because you know it's entire desert landscape. So we are placing some cactuses or cacti, that's the plural. We are just placing it some there, some there, some there, just at random. Just to make sure that it really looks like it's supposed to look. And obviously we're placing some of those uh, blood trees as well. Some of those other trees just in the rocks to make it look like it's really green and like there are some growing things there. I really like the way it looks, like I have to say that I really, really like it. I'm quite proud because I've never been to the desert. I only know the desert from movies and then especially like the movie The Mummy. And that's about it. That's all I know it from. I've never been there. Um, I only know like the Egyptian desert from a lot of documentaries and movies, like I just said. And that's it. So I went off all by memory and I came up with this for a desert oasis and I'm actually really happy with it. Now, I have to be honest, I did put in some more oasises, is that the plural, uh, around this big oasis. And maybe that is not as realistic as it were in the desert, because I believe that in the desert you have like a lot of sand and then suddenly one place where there isn't sand. And then like all the way, 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 way further, some more 
water and this one is quite close together but you know what um tomato tomato it's there it looks pretty and i feel like that is the most important thing at the moment so while you guys are looking um at this oasis like we're placing a lot of palm trees there is some cutting in there because you know um food i usually build when i get home from work which is around like 4 30 5 o'clock in the afternoon and then i have like an hour to build and then i have to make food so you know there are going to be some cuts but i'm really happy with the way it turned out especially like all this vegetation I feel like it's so um, realistic and I can't really say it otherwise than realistic. Also, I'm, I'm gonna apologize again, but I'm really sorry if you can hear the beeping from the washing machine. I'm sorry. And as always, we have like the filter on deserts and I absolutely love it. And I'm, I'm guessing like the Australian desert is like completely different than the other deserts like the Sahara or something or, you know, the desert in America which I forgot the name of, but you know, that's fine. Um, let's not get into that too much. <laughs> but it's really nice. And obviously we are making sure that the uh, terrain paint looks realistic as well. So where there are trees, we're putting a little bit of green. And then obviously we're also putting some soil and some rocks. You know, just to make it look like it is absolutely realistic. And I believe that it's really um, real that when there is like an oasis, there is also some green there because you know, um, grass grows where there's water. So I felt like that was really real and I absolutely love the way that it looks. And then obviously some soil, which I really think they did quite good on this uh, map because it actually looked, you know, cracked. And I love it. Same with the light rock, you know, like the the one that you see right now. I feel like that's so realistic and so, I don't know, like real. I guess that's the word that I'm looking for. But I absolutely love the way it looks. It makes it look like this too. Is really authentic and old like that's what i was going for hence all the rustic fences and uh, like the brown walls oh you can see me doing my music oops okay so clearly i forgot to cut this out that is completely fine so as you just saw i was listening to a musical and probably singing to it very loud at the moment i'm listening to uh, be more chill if you haven't already listened to that, make sure you do. I love the songs. It's not exactly PG-13, so if you are younger, um, don't listen to it. Wait until you're older. You know, but that's just my advice. Don't do whatever you want from that. Um, <laughs> but I love that musical. Like I said in my last video, I'm completely into musicals at the moment, which is awesome. At least I feel like that. I don't feel like um, people around me agree because I listen to it quite often. I have this face where I listen like to the same musical like over and over and over and over and over again. But you know, um, that's life and people are just gonna have to deal with it. And I don't care. <laughs> and like fortunately I can sing quite well. So at least um, I feel I can sing quite well. And people around me have said like, hey, you have a pretty nice voice. So I'm guessing like they're not lying. Obviously I'm not going to compete in idols. Let's just be clear about that i'm totally not doing that because you know it's all rigged and it would be awful like imagine um obviously you don't know any of the dutch juries but like imagine simon cowell saying to you like well you suck that would suck because it would be on national television and it would be broadcasted and i just i couldn't handle the shame of that <laughs> i just i couldn't look how precisely i'm placing all these uh like these fences i'm good I have to clarify, I built this habitat like last week and I'm only now um, editing and doing the voiceover, so... Well, actually that's not true, I built it, then I did the editing and I'm doing the voiceover like a week later, so... You know, I'm already forgetting like half of the things that I did, so here we are making the other oasis and I actually really like the way that this looks, like it's small, it's, it's there, I feel like this could be like an oasis, like it's really there in the desert, lots of rocks, like some palm trees, a little bit of water, like not too much, but not too little some cacti and like some flowers i really feel like that's like the you know the oasis also can you hear those kids screaming i'm sorry anyways guys we are coming close to the end of this video we're just finishing up those oasis and then we're actually gonna go into the cinematics do make sure you stick around for that and if you haven't already make sure to like comment and subscribe and hit that bell icon if you want to so you get notified when my next video goes up like I said, I really enjoyed the comments and likes and the views of the last video. I'm really excited by that. So thank you guys very much. And um, I will leave you 
with this beautiful view of the oasis that I apparently forgot to cut out again. I guess I loaded up the wrong file. I'm terribly sorry, but like in a few seconds we are gonna go into the cinematics and we just just stick around for that because you know these ostriches are pretty darn cute. So guys, I hope you have a wonderful evening, morning, afternoon, wherever you are in this world, and I will hope to see you guys on the next video. Bye!